Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on our beautiful channel. We're going through another example now. Uh, we're going to make a person class and we're going to make an array of 10 people and we're going to print those out and we're going to change them around and see how stuff works, okay? So let's just go straight ahead into that. Include string because we're going to need to make a name variable and a date of birth variable. So let's make a class person. And let us just make a private section and a public section. You don't need a protected section like I said in the last video because it just ignores it and that has to do with inheritance so we don't need to care about that now. So the public is going to have a constructor and the destructor for person and we're going to have a function called that returns a string to string that returns the whole person class. You can have it as const uh, just to get good habits in anything that doesn't change um, that doesn't change uh, the let me see yeah there we go that doesn't change the member variables can be a const any any member function that doesn't change member variables can be constant and they're good that's better that's more efficient so uh, do that so we'll have string name string dob dob okay let's just call it dob you know what that is date of birth name date of birth just to make it a little short. So what you can do, what's, what is beautiful is if you return a string, you can cha chain strings together. Okay, you can chain them together. You can't chain different things like integer strings together like that and return them as a string. You'll have to, uh, you know, two string that and make it or use a string stream or something like that. But in our case here, we don't have anything else. We just have strings so we can easily just string them together. So name and that includes literals like this these are string literals which aren't any variable or anything just straight up strings so uh, oh plus and the reason we can do that is because the plus operator is overloaded within the string class so it knows what to do with the plus so uh, name and then date of birth plus oh this it doesn't really matter in this case but this it's a good habit to have I like using this Sometimes I forget, forgive me, but uh, in this case, I want to do that. So well, what else we can do is name, empty, is make this into a default constructor as well as a uh, optional constructor. So string dob equals like that. Now it has default values. So if you don't input anything in here, you're going to get the default values, which makes it a default constructor. And if you input something, it will change name and DOB into that, whatever's specified by the programmer. So this name, that's why we do this. That's why we do this. Name. Whoops. Okay, just like that. So in case something else is inputted in here, uh, not left empty, you will get whatever you input it into here. So uh, there we go, we have our person class ready. It's ready for action. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a person array. Now, how do we do that? Well, it's the exact same thing as anything else. You can make an array of strings, of uh, integers, and your own classes. So, persons, let's make a constant as well here. Constant cap. Let's make 10 people. Now, remember, this is a static array. This is a array that will not change. It will always keep one size. So, we want to make sure the cap is always the same. The program compiler wants to make sure that cap's always the same so we need to give it a constant integer in dynamic arrays we're working with regular integers here because they can change here we're talking about the constant that we're sure will never change so we have cap there perfect and uh, let's see let's uh, just print all this out and see what we get we'll get all the default values persons I dot remember to string because we made that function just for this reason so it will print this out for every person Bam, 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 bam. Perfect. Perfect. Now you're asking, how do you change this? Now, the, this is a little complicated. Now, things you cannot see here do actually exist. There, there is something here that isn't written out that you can change if you would like, and that's called a copy constructor. Okay, this is a regular constructor, and there is a copy constructor. Now, a copy constructor is created... Um, and, and there is an assignment operator as well, and those two things are, are a bit different. So actually what I'm trying to say here is the assignment operator. That's what I'm trying to, trying to explain, because that's what we're going to be using. So there is one for this class, default, 
okay? Now, the reason it's default is because most of the time you don't have to specify it yourself. C++ takes care of it. But if you have pointers in here, string pointer something, and then using that default one, it will do something with this that you do not want, okay? It will do stuff with this that you don't want. It will take care of it, but it will not take care of it in the correct way. So when you're using pointers in your classes and dynamic memory, you have to make your own assignment operator and your overloaded assignment operator, excuse me, and your own copy constructor. You want to make sure you do that. We'll get along to that later, but as you know, I always say things in the beginning just so you have the, these ideas in your head. Those two things are here that we can't see, and we'll have to specify them if we're using pointers. But in our case, we're not, so we don't have to care. That means that we can use the assignment operator. So persons at position 0. Remember, this is a static array. There is already a person in here, but we want to change that person's values. So we can do this. Create a temporary person and name him Bob. Give him date of birth. 2000, no, 1990, or whoops, 90. Uh, 0512, for example. Maybe that's the same date I used in the last video. I'm not sure. Anywho, we'll make a few of these changes here. They can have the same date of birth. I don't care. John Mac. So we added three here. We changed the values of these three in the top to what we wanted. Now, this is inefficient, right? This is not the most efficient way to do this. We'll get to the most efficient way using a dynamic array. But in, in theory, actually, you could do that by yourself right now. If you've been following, you could create a dynamic array of persons and make sure it's, it's working and uh, use the new operator instead of copying like this. So this is the assignment operator that you can overload. Uh, and it will be important to know later. The copy constructor is used when you create something out of something else of the same type. Okay, so if we said person one, persons zero. If we did this, we're using the copy construct constructor. Okay, we're creating person one, copying from another person type. Okay, person object. This calls for a constructor, but a different type of constructor called a copy constructor. And that makes it so that we can uh, uh, copy over values from this into the new one that is being created. So that's the difference between the assignment operator, which you can use at any time, and the copy constructor that is only used at the time of creation. So uh, there you go. There you go. Now you could change all these values if you wanted to. We didn't use the menu system actually because uh, it's a simpler way to just do this, I think, and just to show you how this works. And remember these uh, the, the terms here, and we'll be fine. So go ahead, play around with this, see what you can do. Um, thanks for watching as always. I really appreciate it. And uh, keep learning, stay strong, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.